Today in this video, I want to talk about water filters and what water filter is my favorite to take backpacking and why. And I want to talk about a couple of different water filters that I've used throughout the years when I first started backpacking in like 2019. So this is the first water filter I ever purchased. It's the Sawyer Mini. I got this when I was in my stage of just watching people backpack on YouTube and not actually backpacking myself. And I thought this would be a fun piece of gear to start taking with me on day hikes, kind of just in case of emergency if I ever ran out of water. Usually for day hikes, I would just take the amount of water that I would need for that day so I wouldn't have to filter. But once I bought this, I felt better having it as like an emergency backup or if I ran into someone else on trail who ran out of water. The good things about the Sawyer Mini is that it's the cheapest water filter I've ever bought. I think I paid $22 for it and it's also the lightest water filter that I have. It weighs two ounces. So I had purchased this before I decided to hike the AT in 2020. So when I made that decision to through hike and I started getting my gear together, I put this in my gear list because I already had it. It was lightweight and I thought that's what you want in through hiking gear. I thought you wanted like the lightest things possible. So when I put a video out on YouTube showing everyone the gear I was taking on my through hike, I got so much feedback and comments from people saying that this water filter has an extremely slow flow rate. And I really appreciated that feedback because I didn't really have any experience with this. So it was just for like emergency backup. So I think I really only used it in my house just to test it out and then never used it again. So I started like tinkering with it and then I realized that yeah, the flow rate is really slow. Um, and so everyone recommended that I upgraded to the Sawyer Squeeze, which is just like the normal version of this, this guy right here. So this is what I bought and this is what I took on my AT through hike attempt in 2020. It only weighs one ounce more and it was about like 16 more dollars than the Sawyer Mini was, but the flow rate was drastically better and that's important when you're out through hiking. You don't want to sit at a water source for way longer than you need to, just getting like a couple drips at a time. Um, so this was super fast and I was really happy to make this upgrade. So with this water filter, I also carried this knock bag. It's a three liter bag. And to use the water filter, I just attached the water filter to this side of it. You could put water in the bag through this side and then you can kind of just like squeeze the water down into the filter and then filter it into my smart water bottle or like something like this. I would just squeeze the dirty water into the clean water bottle. And that was my system for the 282 miles that I did on the AT in 2020. A lot of hikers that I saw on trail just attached their Sawyer squeeze to the top of this like a plastic water bottle like this and they could drink right from it. They would put like a sport cap on it so it was easier to drink out of and I haven't used this in years. There we go, <laughs> it just took a second. So they'd squeeze and it would come out here and you can drink it right from here or squeeze it into a separate plastic water bottle. But if you did this method of water filtering by putting dirty water in your plastic water bottle, you'd have to remember that that's kind of contaminated and now this water bottle is going to be your designated dirty water bottle. I didn't like putting my water filter on top of bottles like this. I found it kind of annoying and I just liked my system of having the squeeze bag, but I think this was the more popular option um, out on trail for water filtering. So when I decided to stop using the Sawyer Squeeze as my water filter while backpacking, I was actually in the spot that I am right now. I was doing the Monadnock Sunapi Greenway Trail and I noticed that it was not filtering well and I was with Kyle hates hiking if you know him and he was like oh you're missing the o-ring so I don't know if you can 
see it right now, but the O-ring is a very important part of this filter. And if you don't have it in there anymore, then it's not that good and you can be drinking dirty water. So I ended up having to share his water filter with him for the whole four day backpacking trip. And that kind of frustrated me. I know a lot of people will bring extra O-rings with them just in case it pops out. And I know it was user error that I didn't have my O-ring. It's usually when you tighten your filter onto your bottle too tightly. Um, but that was just something I didn't want to have to worry about with my water filter. So I started looking at other options. So at that point, I was getting ready to attempt another through hike of the Appalachian Trail. And I started getting gear together and watching YouTube videos and gear reviews. And I came across this, which is the Catadine Be Free. And this is what I ended up switching to. So the initial things that attracted me to this water filter was one, there was no O-ring to worry about, but two, the flow rate on this seemed so fast. Faster, of course, than the Sawyer Mini, faster than the Sawyer Squeeze, faster than any other water filter I've watched reviews about on YouTube. And again, just having the ability to filter water quickly while through hiking, especially with like my style of through hiking with not liking to take long breaks, it seemed awesome. So it said that the Catadine Be Free lasts about a thousand liters of water going through the filter, whereas the Sawyer Squeeze says it can last a lifetime. It will always work. You never have to retire it unless it freezes. If any of these water filters freeze and like the water inside turns into ice, they're all done and you have to replace them. So that's something to keep in mind. So it doesn't last a lifetime and to replace the water filter it's $27 but that's something I was okay with paying every 1,000 liters because I just liked the benefits of how easy this was and how quick it was to filter the water. The flow rate is super fast when this is brand new, but if you do start filtering murky water and just like not clear water, it will slow down a lot. So this exact filter I've had for over a year and the flow rate is still really good because I really only use it in flowing streams where the water is clear, but I had a Catadine Be Free when I threw hiked last year and I was filtering still water in Maine that had like moose poop in it and dirt and like all this crap, literally. Um, and after I would filter the nasty water, it slowed down so much. So that's just something to keep in mind. This is really good if you're using it for clear water sources. So I went through three of these replacement filters on my through hike. I know some hikers that have used the same filter their entire through hike because they didn't care that it slowed down or they were being stubborn. But for me, as soon as I saw any signs of it slowing down, I would replace it because that was something that was important to me on my hike is being able to take quick breaks, being super efficient and filtering quickly. So the Sawyer Squeeze is definitely the most popular option with through hikers that I've noticed. But I think the Catadine Be Free is right up there and is gaining popularity and it is my favorite on the trail and I don't see myself ever switching back to the Sawyer Squeeze. I think I'm going to use this for a long time. I've been using it for years at this point and I have no complaints except the fact that you do have to replace the filter and it doesn't last as long as the Sawyer Squeeze but I've been taking really good care of it and it has lasted a long time for me and you can clean it by just kind of like swishing this water filter around. So what do you guys think? Do you prefer the Sawyer Squeeze? Do you prefer the Catadine Be Free? Let me know in the comments. All three of these filters will be linked in the description. So thanks, I don't usually do gear reviews like this on my channel, but if you're interested in any other pieces of gear that I take backpacking, maybe this tent, or not tent, maybe this backpack, I have thought about doing a review on this backpack because I've been using it a lot and I absolutely love it. So let me know what you guys think and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.